Hi, I'm Rob, and this is something that interests me. I was hoping to get a new bike this year, but wasn't able to find one. Availability of bikes has been really tough, even as we come out of COVID. So I did the next best thing and said, I'm gonna keep my bike that I've had since 2016, and I'm gonna do a major upgrade. Investing in a new set of wheels. I bought some We Are One Unions, and mated those to some Hadley Racing Hubs. So I'll show you what they look like and what they sound like and my first impressions once I get a ride on them. So if you haven't heard of Hadley Racing, they're a small hub manufacturer out of California. It's an American-made product, designed and built uh, in the U.S., which is a great thing. I feel that's uh, important to support our small businesses out there. And when I say small business, uh, these guys are small. If you do a Google search on them, you'll find very little about Hadley Hubs. There'll be some uh, blogs and some web posts. Uh, there's only a couple of videos about them. Uh, and what you can find about them is their address and phone number in California. Uh, outside of that, they don't have a web presence. If you want to take a look at their products, uh, there's a company called Bailey Racing, and they have all of the products that uh, Hadley Hubs has to offer, or nearly all of them. Uh, put links to uh, the Bailey Racing out there so that you can go and take a look. Uh, their hubs do come in many colors, uh, as well as different configurations. So here's my rear hub. Talk a little bit about that. So. With the rear hub from Hadley, they have 72 points of engagement, uh, so they have a nice sound to them. They engage every five degrees of rotation, uh, so as your wheel turns, there's almost no lag between when you start pedaling and when those rear, when the rear hub paws engage with the hub body uh, and propel you forward. Uh, this particular set has an XD driver on it and the driver is titanium. That helps reduce the weight. Uh, these hubs are coming in at 360 grams, so fairly lightweight. Pretty happy about that. American made, uh, Hadley is standing behind them. They come with a five-year warranty, so that is pretty good. I expect I'll be riding them for a few years to come. Uh, the nice part, too, is I had these built locally. Uh, by bootlegger bikes, uh, and they stand behind their warranty as well. So for the, as long as I own these wheels, so if I do have an issue, I can bring them back to them and work with them to get the issue straightened out, either through warranty or uh, a quick truing right there in the shop. I'll show you what these wheels sound like, uh, both inside and out. So this is kind of the true test out here. I had asked for a quiet set of hubs to be built, so that's pretty much what I got. Uh, so I'm going to give this a spin. You can hear it. Uh, and then in a little bit, I'll have them on a truing stand and give that a spin, both with a near and a far um, sound check. Give you a feel for what it sounds like. So here's the outdoor test. That's pretty quiet. I'm standing just a couple feet away, I can barely hear it. Hadley Racing Hub with the microphone right next to the freewheel. This is the Hadley Racing Hub with the microphone about five feet away from the freewheel. Let's talk about We Are One. So they are a Canadian company out of Kamloops, British Columbia. 
Uh, they seem to make some pretty nice wheels. Uh, they come in a natural finish. They're not painted. They've got just a little bit of logoing on them with their cool little bike over the valve stem. And then the We Are One sticker uh, so you know who they are. These wheels come with a lifetime warranty. Uh, nearly no questions asked. So if I break these while I'm riding, I can work with my local bike shop and uh, We Are One's going to stand behind them. I think that's uh, a sign of a company that stands behind their product. It's nearly no questions asked, which is good. Uh, they did have to put in, it used to be no questions asked, but uh, they had to change that because they had some people trying to do some hanky things with warranty, getting into car accidents and then trying to warranty their wheels for having broken on them. Uh, they also had somebody try to warranty a stolen set of wheels. So they'll stand behind them if they break while you're riding. Uh, so that's a great warranty. I don't think you can beat that. Here are the tech specs for my Unions. They're 27.5s and they've been riding really well. Here's a closer look at the hubs on the rims. You can see they look beautiful. So I have a couple of months on these wheels now so I can give you my opinion on were they worth the investment or not. And I think for sure, hands down, they were worth the investment. Uh, I've been riding them on a variety of terrain in my area. I've done uh, quite a few climbs with them. I've done some good descents that are very technical as well as fast and flowy. Uh, and the wheels have not let me down. The hubs have not let me down. They have gotten a little bit louder uh, since they were brand new, but uh, that's negligible. I still really don't hear the wheels that much. They're there. I know they're there but uh, they're nowhere near as loud as the guys that I ride with who I can hear their bikes when they're behind me or in front of me riding, making all kinds of noise. Uh, I enjoy, you know, knowing that the wheel is doing its job. I don't like a lot of loud, uh, so I'm very happy with that. I would recommend these, uh, both products, the, uh, the hubs from Hadley and the wheels from We Are One. Uh, they have been really fun to ride. I think that they've given me a little bit more confidence because of how connected I feel to the bike and to the ground. Uh, they literally feel as though they just transmit uh, what's underneath me right up through my bike to me. Uh, and that's kind of nice when you're riding to know that you're connected. Hopefully you found this interesting. And if you did, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more content from me in the future, uh, please hit subscribe.